Hello everyone, my name is Cisco Dudan and welcome back to another scratch tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's game. So a fellow scratcher has asked me how to make it and based um it's on this. A really make of it that I made. Not that much. I'm a really bad artist. And I know it's kinda old, but I'm gonna do Five Nights at Freddy's one. And if you don't want to see, when you hear me talking, so, but, and then, hello, hello, and that's me, so, okay, um, I'm gonna leave a mess, okay, that's good, um, I'm just gonna keyboard shortcut, wait a second, boop, uh, that didn't work, okay, so, should be a keyboard shortcut somewhere. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna make a replica of Five Nights at Freddy's using Five Nights at Freddy's images and all sorts of stuff. So first things first, let me just take one of my trash projects that are a piece of junk. I'm trying to empty it out since you can't permanently delete stuff. Okay. I have a lot of drafts I have to get rid of. Let me just clear. Okay, so I cleared it, <clears throat> and first thing, now I would have commented how to do it, but I can't put this whole thing in 500 characters, it might take me 500 minutes, who knows, so I might make another part, so one thing that I found helpful, in order to um, take some images off uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's game, is the Five Nights at Freddy's Wikipedia, which is right here. And this just show has about every single image in the game and the sounds. So like this is the main mini sound. Okay, so um now if you want to download it, you can hold on a second. Make a new folder and we're gonna put it on Google Drive. Forget it. I'm just gonna put it on here. Um Called Five Nights at Freddy's Audio and Images. You guys probably can't see this, but I'm just saving it. And it's going to save it as a .ogg file. But you want to make it an MP3 file, so. There's a website. This is OOG. Now, if I try uploading an OOG file, here's what's going to happen import. Ignore that really gross orange in the background. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I'm going to delete it. Uh, delete. If you can't see it, I don't know if you guys can see it. So, where is it? Five Nights at Freddy's. Audio. If I try to upload it. Oh, it actually worked. No. It didn't. But, anyways. So, <clears throat> we'll do that. Open up this Google Chrome app called Audio Converter. One second. And it's online audioconverter.com. Which you guys can see. And if you open up the file, and hit MP3, hit convert, and hit download, how about you place that one? Wait, don't have cancel, cancel. Never mind. Okay, so just keep it the same, but delete that. And it should ask if you want to replace it, and say yes. Sometimes. There we have our first sound, the main menu sound. You should have to search them. 
One second. Here it is. So I'm gonna make a mini little pauses to import the sound and make it an MP3. But <clears throat> so let me just say that in the video, I will be teaching you how to do the cameras, the office. All the cameras are normally the same. They have the same scripting, except for the stage in um one the hall that Foxy runs in, and Pirates Cove. So I'm gonna have to tell you how to do that separately. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna get started since I have about four minutes left of my recording. So here we go. Okay. We are going to make a new sprite, or a new backdrop, I'll just say, called Main Menu. So, let me just quickly find a Main Menu picture. Okay, guys, so, <clears throat> I have found a image of the Main Menu, and let me just import it quickly. Beep. Beep. Doot. Doot. Done. Import okay, so here it is. Now you might need to expand it a little. Now I found a link of a of all the game files, but it takes an hour to download with a good connection. So maybe I'll download it during the night. I'll let it download. I don't know. So there it is, our main menu screen. So when I go to full screen. It should be full. So, okay, maybe it's a bit glitchy. Now, one thing they might want to do is expand it a little. Like that. So you can see more. And I couldn't find it on the wiki, so I had to wait one second. So I couldn't find a GIF of the main menu. So what we're gonna do is before I clicked um switch backdrop to backdrop one, which I'm gonna change the menu. And then Forever play sound main menu music. So now we have you might want to make it until done. Okay, so now it should work. We're also gonna need a screen effects, so let me quickly grab one. Again. So what I have done is <clears throat> I have taken the static from another project and, added, and make a script that says we fly click set goes to 80 shell go to zero zero go to front next costume and every 2.1 seconds. So it looks like it's bored. Now <coughs> the next game and continue icons are um, pretty simple. All you have to do is make a sprite, another one. Say it's new game. Oh, make a black box as well, so it points in. Actually, I have a better idea. Don't do that. All I have to do is make a screenshot with something like the snipping tool or whatever. I'm just quickly take a screenshot. Okay, so take a little screenshot of new game. Capture. Done. Save image.
So now, I have that. I'm gonna import the new game icon. Alright. And it's right here, so I'm just gonna drag. Oop. I don't want that. I'm gonna hide this quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna just drag this over to there. So from a distance, it looks like it's part. So I flag clicked. Go to that position. And show. Oh, I'm all stuffy. That's gross. Okay. And when this sprite clicked, broadcast start or message one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just make a message that will be start or that will start the game. And we're gonna make a variable called night. New game set. It's gonna set the night back to one. But if you continue it, then I will just keep it. So now I have to do is just duplicate this. Just make it new game button. button. And the continue button, I'm gonna take another quick screenshot one second. Actually, you should pause this. All right, so I import. I took a screenshot. Continue button and imported, and it looks much better than the new game one turned out. For some reason. But anyway, so it's exactly the same thing. But just get this block out of here and set the positions. Always set the positions before do it, before clicking the flag, or else you lose it and then stuff happens. So. Now when you click the flag, you got your stuff. Okay, so this should actually go to front. So they're not clicking the, the uh, blur. Instead, I'm going to go to front. Just drag that in. And that is it for this episode, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.